This is the most explosive offense in Madden 24. It has explosive pass plays. I'm wide open, wide open. Unstoppable glitch routes to get open all over the field. And one play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So long, suckers! So if you want to see what offense I'm using results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found on my custom offensive and custom defensive ebooks. But if you guys use regular team playbooks, it can also be found on my Saints offense and Raiders defensive ebooks as well. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can instantly download these or any of my ebooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. For today's gameplay, I have two games, kind of, against the same opponent in my division rival, the New York Giants, as these two games will decide who wins the division and the number one seed in the entire conference. The first game I lost, but to be honest, it felt like this guy was a huge fan of the channel, like a lot of the members are, as he seemed to know everything I was going to do before I did it. I started the game out in my iForm close offense that everyone knows by now, and he started out in the exact same 4-3 even 6-1 defense that I said gave this offense trouble in one of my videos videos against the Rams. And I repeated this once again against the Dolphins in a video two weeks later. So it's clear that this man studied. Meanwhile, I have no idea what anybody in this league likes to do and I have to figure it out on the fly. So I got down big early as I was having some weird issues on defense. Like on this first play here where I didn't even know who I was controlling. Where you go? As I was just trying to find my user only to find out that I was on a cornerback. Damn it! And I just let a receiver run down the field wide open before making another huge error in coverage on the next series while playing too shallow with a safety and a cover three. <laughs> All told, I let him get up to a quick 17-0 on me before I figured it out, and ultimately fought my way back to get into the game at 20-17 before he scored late in the fourth quarter to put the game away. But I got myself a rematch with the conference and the division on the line in the final week of the season, and I definitely learned a lot from our first game. For one, I learned that I needed some new plays against him since he knew just about everything that I was doing, and I purposely didn't post any of it so that I could use it against him for the first time in our rematch and he would have no idea but before i do if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section i started this rematch out on defense and it starts the exact same way it did last time as he goes right down the field on me methodically and scores a touchdown on the opening possession on offense the i form close did nothing last time as i couldn't get my run game going against his defense but my new gun stack y flex offense did once i switched so i decided to lab some new plays and some new one play touchdowns that no one has ever seen before especially against cover three and cover four. For my substitutions, I just want to make sure that my fastest receiver is in this spot here, as this spot is responsible for most of the one-play touchdowns in this formation. But for the new plays that I'm going to show you guys today, you will also want to put your fastest tight end in the game at this spot here, which I don't do right away. My audible plays are mostly the same, as I use the drive age wheel and the PA read as my one-play touchdowns for most things. But in today's video, I'm going to upgrade my cover three bomb from the Z spot to the fade out, as I recently found a concept that works way better from this play. I still use the Y sales the fifth play that I come out in most times but anytime I see a small defense like this I will try to run the inside zone that I keep in my audibles as I don't get much against this defense. The passing game to the running back is really the run game in this scheme anyway as I can swing it out to the running back against any zone coverage except hard flats from the Y sale play as I almost get a first down before I get pushed back on the ground to get the fourth and three and I decide to go for it. The real difference in this game compared to the last game was my adjustments as I make several new adjustments to the Y sale passing play alone. The first works against any zone coverage is all you really have to do is put the Y receiver on a flat and put the B receiver on a streak and I can get this guy open against any zone coverage. But he is clearly guarding the short yardage so I decided to put him on a slant instead as this gets open deeper down the field and I'm expecting him to leave the center of the field to guard the other side and that's exactly what happens as we get a big first down. 
He runs a lot of base, so I can't read the defense pre-snap, but he also runs a lot of cover three. So since it's first down, I decided to take a shot and switch to the play that I labbed specifically for this game out of the fade out play. Recently, I labbed a new offense from the pistol tight slots, where I realized that two post routes next to each other like this can be very glitchy against cover three and cover four defenses. As all I have to do is put the X receiver on a comeback to hold down the outside cornerback and put the Y receiver on a slant to both hold the user down and act as a check down. And now I just have to watch to see if one of the safeties drops into cover three. Break yourself, fool! And if I would have ran it to the open side of the field, it probably would have been a touchdown. No big deal though, as the screen gets us down to the two yard line before punching it in with the running back from the drive age wheel which gets open against any man or zone. On defense, my boy goes empty backfield for most of the game as he gets outside of my cover four before I switch over to cover one man on the next play, and he tries to beat me deep over the middle, gotcha, bitch. only to see my 99 speed Kalen Barnes get his second interception in the last two weeks. Back on offense, he gets me to a quick third and 10 though, as I see he was using cover three on the last play. So I put in my fastest tight end and decide to take another shot. <laughs> but those four extra speed points make all the difference as we score for 50 plus this time. Back on defense, we're playing much better as well as we get him to a three and out, only this time he decides to go for it, which he didn't do much in the first game. And we get a turnover on downs in field goal territory. But that's all we get from here, as I decide to play it safe and just take the two possession lead. On defense, we get the stop as well as we get a coverage sack on second and long. Before sending the 3-3 odd cover three cloud blitz that I put out recently to get another sack to make him punt away with under two minutes left. I try to set up the cover three bomb again on the next play, but the defense looks more like cover four. So I roll out and use the comeback route as my check down this time, as this route gets open against just about any defense as well. I then take the running back on the next play to get out of bounds and stop the clock as I have no timeouts. And poor clock management cost me points before half. But at least I got the ball in the second half, so I start with the running back once again to get the first, before going back to the slant on the Y sail to get another big play, as everyone has to cover the outside routes on this offense, often leaving the slant wide open over the middle of the field. Another glitch that I recently figured out in this offense is that you can make hot route adjustments on the halfback slip screen play, which is something that EA supposedly patched several years ago, but it still works here. So I try to do it, but I get a bad animation when passing off my back foot, so I like to use this more from a play with better protection like the wide sale play but i can make that adjustment on this or the screenplay that is basically the exact same thing and since the running back side is the focus he will almost always be open for a big catch and run over the middle of the field where the user was supposed to be i try the screenplay again on the next play to lose a few yards before i read cover one and decide to switch to the drive h wheel play as this corner route can get open as long as i put the x receiver on a streak to help get in the way of the man defender as he tries to press and we get a dominant win animation for another score he doesn't go away though as he works hard to get his way down the field for a field goal to stay in this game, but I'm also going to help him out by making a poor read and throwing an interception on the very next play. And he busts a huge run in the next series with new Philadelphia Eagles Saquon Barkley to get into the red zone before mossing me with Darren Waller to make it a ball game. God damn it! But the comeback isn't complete yet until I throw another interception on the very next play, this time in the red zone. As I saw that defender, I just thought that I could get the ball over him. Back on defense, he's coming on strong with a big run on the very next play to get inside the 10, as Saquon Barkley really is looking like the catalyst for this comeback. Can't wait to see him in Philly next year, before he scores on a broken coverage to tie the game late in the fourth. Oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. But I still have ball. Before I read cover three and seb the one play touchdown once again, only this time I give myself an out route to the running back for a check down before getting a bad accuracy throw that probably cost me a touchdown. I choose the Z spot in the huddle on the next play as I plan to just streak the B receiver so that I could work the tight end outside. But when I see that he's in cover three once again, I decide to try another cover three one play touchdown setup instead. Since I'm already on the hash mark like I am here, all I have to do is put everyone on streaks except for the corner route and motion the running back out to pull the safety in that direction. Then watch for the corner route to pull the cornerback outside before pass leading inside and up the field and we get the big play that we needed. But we have to score a touchdown now, as I read cover two in the next play, switch to the drive age wheel and put the B receiver on a streak to pull back the safety to get inside the deep red zone. From here though, he is not letting that wheel route score, so I decide to work the high low over the middle instead. 
But of course my opponent is game as he runs Danny Dimes on the first play to get 15 yards before mossing me again to get too many yards and almost guaranteeing me a chance to get the ball back with two minutes left. And now I'm playing to give up a touchdown more than that first down as we get into a fourth and inches that could decide the ball game right here. So I run commit to make sure that he doesn't get it on the ground while also giving up a tying score in the process. But it gives me the ball with 47 seconds left in all three of my timeouts. Plenty of time. At some point though throughout the game he stopped hiding his coverages so when I see he's in coverage two on the next play i try that corner out one more time but he is all over it luckily the wheel route to the running back gets wide open on the other side of the field once he turns up as i make sure to slow down and set my feet before throwing an absolute dart to get in the field goal range on the very first play of the drive from here though i just decide to run the ball to keep the clock going but i get a little bit too aggressive and decide to try to score on the next play taking a big sack instead and now i have to kick a 56 yard field goal for the win but at least he used all of his timeouts so he can't ice me as he used his last time out to keep a little bit of clock for himself, but I get a huge penalty for intentional grounding to essentially end the game as we win the division and the number one seed in the NFC Conference. Normally, I would say if you guys want to see how the playoffs played out to be a subscriber, but the truth is one of the commissioners went rogue and simmed through the playoffs uh, basically as a retaliation to uh, me trying to basically remove him as a commissioner. It's a long story, and I thought I would make an entire video about it, but the truth is I don't want to give this clown any more um, attention than he deserves. And we've already restarted the league anyways with updated rosters to mirror the NFL free agency period that just passed, so I'm actually really excited about that. So if you guys want to see more videos about that think uh gameplay with me with saquon barkley on the eagles or the ravens with derrick henry uh stuff like that so i'm going to end the video there if you guys want to see uh gameplay with updated rosters i will be putting that out next week and other than that thanks for watching man much it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below